Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few techniques on how you can use your uh, lens flare filter in Photoshop and uh, a few things that you can do to make your uh, photos look better that you uh, use the, the lens flare uh, filter on. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump in and get started. Um, first of all, I, this is the image that I chose. Um, what, I, what we're going to shoot for is maybe having sort of a, a sunset picture with a, with a lens flare on it. So um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my background layer and I'm going to, uh, if, if your layers aren't open, go to Window, or go down to Layers. And what you'll do is you'll take the background layer and just drag it your new layers down here so that you'll have a copy of your background layer and we're not working off of our original photo so that uh, if we do something to this layer, it's not a big deal. We can always make another copy. Um, the next thing that I want to do is uh, go down here and create an adjustment layer. And uh, I'm going to do a... I think we'll start off with doing our brightness and contrast layer. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump the brightness way down because I want this to be a sunset picture. So I want it to look kind of dusk. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And the great things about these uh, adjustment layers is they use uh, layer masks. So I'm going to click on that layer mask and I'm going to take an eraser, which you can get over here, and I'm going to set the hardness of my eraser down to zero and set the size pretty big because I want to see this foreground coming through and uh, when you set that uh, the, the, the hardness of it pretty soft it just kind of transitions pretty nicely up into the uh, other areas of the picture so that's uh, that's why I did that and then uh, then if you want to get some of that back you just take your, your brush and uh, brush that back in um, to make it a little darker if that's what you want to do but now as you can see you have kind of like a, a dark sky with uh, kind of a silhouetted uh, person there. Um, and, and that's kind of what I wanted to go for. So the next thing that we're going to do is add another adjustment layer. And we'll do a uh, hue and saturation adjustment layer. And uh, in these uh, images where I'm using a lens flare, I like to really try to make that lens flare pop out. And one way you can do that is by bumping down the saturation of your image. And I'm going to bump it down pretty far. Um, down to maybe like negative 60 let's do negative 50, let's go crazy. And, uh, and that's all I'm going to do with that one. And once again, you can go in on your uh, layer mask, and if you want to saturate something, like maybe do a little bit of that, and maybe maybe you want to leave the the color of the girl, this uh, vest, saturated, you can, uh, you can erase that back in. And I kind of like the way that that's looking, so I'm going to leave it just like that. Um, <clears throat> the next thing that I'm going to do is... Uh, make a curves adjustment layer. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put a point in the middle, a point at the top, and a point at the bottom. And I'll move the one at the bottom down into the left a little bit, and the one in the middle up into the right a little bit, and the one at the top up into the right a little bit. And what that'll do is it'll just bring out our highs, our mid-tones, and our uh, low tones a little bit more. And that's what that'll give you right there. And you can see that it, it kind of does a lot um, as far as the the tone and intonation of the, the photo goes. Um, it brings a lot out in those rocks. And that's uh, that's kind of a big deal. And I actually uh, toggling the view like that is a good thing because I actually uh, like the the way the woman looked before. So I'm simply going to go on my uh, my layer mask there, and I'm going to erase her back to the way that she was before I did the curves layer. So now I have everything looking exactly the way that I want. Okay, uh, now we're going to go ahead and add that lens flare to make it look like kind of a, a sunset or uh, something like that. And uh, the easiest way to do that is to make a new layer, and then you'll select your paint bucket tool over in your tools, and you'll make sure that you have uh, black selected as your foreground color. If it's in the background, you just uh, click these arrows here, and it'll toggle that around. Make sure black's on top, because we're going to fill this layer in with black. And then what we'll do is we'll go up to Filter, Go down to Render and down to Lens Flare. And there's a there's just a, a few default lens flares, um, and you can choose whichever one you think looks the best. I think in this one I'm going to go ahead and go with the 105 millimeter prime, and I'm going to make it pretty strong. So I'm going to go up to 137 percent, and that's going to be really strong. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick with that. And uh, the reason that I like to go strong is because you can always click your opacity and bring it down a little bit. Um, 
but it, you can't uh, you can't make it lighter. So anyway, uh, what I'll do is I have this uh, my my lens flare layer selected, and I'm going to go to my blending modes and set to screen so that you can see it through the image. And now, as you can see, um, you're starting to you're starting to get to where you want, and uh, you certainly wouldn't have to uh, dull it down. Uh, but I feel like this is a bit too strong for what I was going for, so I'm going to take it down to uh, it looks like 50%, maybe a little too far down. Let's try 75% or so. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just stick with that. Um, I'm going to add a layer mask to this layer just by clicking the layer mask here. I'm going to make sure it's selected, and I'll take my eraser, and I'm just going to, with a soft brush once again, um, make the hardness down to zero, and uh, I'm just going to try to preserve some of the detail in these rocks by erasing away some of the brightness there. Now, and I'm going to preserve some of the some of this lady by just erasing some of her there. And you're going to have to uh, make these judgments on your own in your own picture. But I'm thinking something like this looks pretty good, and it looks a little bit better with a little bit of this detail added back into it. So pretend, um, pretend this is the light source over here. It wouldn't necessarily be going through this lady so, um, or through these rocks. So keep that in mind, because the back side of these rocks will still be dark, and you'll still see all this um, kind of detail. Anyway, enough explanation there. Um, the only other thing that you could possibly do is add another layer and um, try to colorize the sky a little bit. You could uh, do it one of two ways. You could simply just take an orange color, and I'll just do it this way since, since I already started. Um, take a, a brush, kind of a soft brush, and just uh, kind of color in the sky this orange color. You don't have to be real accurate, but just be real kind of, be pretty accurate. And then uh, you got to find the right blending mode, and it's either screen or overlay. Let's try screen. Nope. And overlay. It's overlay. Okay. And uh, as you can see, that's a bit too strong. Uh, you'll want to go in maybe even before you change the strength of the uh, image. You want to make sure that you have these is colored in as well, otherwise it's not going to look quite right. And maybe you didn't want that last area. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe about like that. Okay, um, and that's, like I said, too strong. So we'll just take the opacity down to about 2% eh, is not enough. Let's try 25. 25 is pretty good. But, uh, Maybe you don't want the whole sky that color, so you'll just, once again, take your eraser and make a, first make your, uh, your clipping mask on that layer, and just erase a little bit. So now you have this little orange hue in the sky. You have your lens flare, which is kind of, you could, you could um, that could be the sun. It looks a lot like the sun going down. And, uh, and you have all your detail and stuff the way that it should be in the in the background of the image. So um, that's just uh, one way you can use your lens flare uh, tool in Photoshop. Um, a lot of times you want to get rid of the lens flare, but uh, sometimes you want to put it back in there because it's just uh, stylistically it can look good. Sometimes it adds uh, some uh, dramatic effect to some of these uh, pictures. And I'll show you. I'll show you that. Uh, where we came from was uh, this image, and uh, where we finished up was with this image, and as you can see they're quite a bit different, and uh, this has a pretty good quality to it. So I, I hope you learned something. Uh, please feel free to uh, uh, leave comments if you have, if you have questions, and uh, please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter uh, and Facebook, and uh, thanks for watching.